Hello all, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So, so this is going to be a series of videos on suspension assembly. I am going to create each video for every component. So all the components are uh, should be created in uh, part modeling. So this is going to be my first video on this um, suspension assembly series. And in this video, I am going to show you how to create this tire in um, part modeling workbench. So both the tires are uh, identical we can create one and uh, we can use it on both sides so so now let's go to new file so i'm going to create a new file and here you can see here in the desktop i have created a suspension as a folder under that i'm going to create a tire okay so this should be in inches so and just click ok So now we are into a 3D workbench. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch our environment on this plane and I'll just click OK. So first thing is I'm going to create an arc here. So this is an arc with center point and with a radius of 1.7. OK, and I'm going to draw this arc. Let me go into fit this. Yeah. Okay. So this point should lie on this axis. So, so press C and go to this point on a curve. So this point should lie on this curve. Okay. And there is a distance here between this point to this point. So between these two point is 1.045. Okay. And also this is symmetric. So what I'm going to do is I'll just hit D and distance between this point to this axis. I'm going to give it as P1 divided by 2. Okay. So P1 is this and it is divided by 2. Okay. So now uh, the distance between this point to this edge is 1.3. Okay. And now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here. So this is my line. And let me do this. Okay. So here I'm going to give some dimensions to this. So from this point to the x-axis it is point nine four two five okay and then the distance between this point to this point is point zero seven okay and the distance between this point to this point is point two three Okay, so now, uh, you know, horizontal dimensions is done. Now we have to give vertical dimensions. So from this point to this is 1.0225. Okay, so now you can see our sketch is fully constrained. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror these curves. So go to mirror and uh, it should not be connected it should be single curve so these are the curve i'm going to mirror it on the other side now you can just click ok and you can see here this is the profile we got and we need to offset this by 0 0.05 mm so go to offset and now you can select a connected curves and select this so all the connected curves are selected now we can give 0 0.05 mm and you can just click OK. OK. So now it is showing as an. Uh, so we can delete one of the con, you know dimensions. So it will be gone. So now we need to close this profile. So I'm going to go to line here. And close this profile. OK. So this is our, uh, you know, first sketch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the sketch. So this sketch, whatever we have, it should be revolved around 360 degree. So go to revolve. And now we need to select this particular sketch. 
okay is selected now we need a vector along which it should be rotated along this direction and the point will be this point okay so it should be 360 degree and you can just click okay so here now I'm going to provide an edge blend here go to edge blend and the radius will be 0.125 now I'm going to select these two outer edges okay just click ok so now what I'll do is I'll just go to sketch element on the same plane and I'll just click ok and here um, I'm going to offset this outer circle so outer curve by 0 0.0297 so go to offset and here I'm going to select a single curve so this curve should be offsetted insert with a distance of 0 0.0297 okay just click ok so it is fully constrained and we can finish the sketch so now I am going to revolve this particular sketch so go to revolve and select this sketch again we need to provide a vector along this vector and the point is this okay so now in this case it is not 360 degree it is minus 45 and plus 45 so either you can give sorry minus 45 okay so this is the you know revolve you can see here minus 45 and plus 45 and you can just click okay okay so now I'm going to create a plane with an offset of 1.375 from this plane one point three seven five and you can just click ok so we are going to create a sketch on this particular plane so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a sketch and let me select this particular plane and you can just click ok so here uh, we are going to create a simple uh, sketch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an arc here before going to an arc we need to project this curve so go to project curve and select this curve click OK and let us make this as a construction line ok so now let me go to arc so this arc should start from this uh, point and it goes along here sorry it should be three point and the radius is point eight seven double four two okay <clears throat> so this point should lie on this uh, projected curve so press C and uh, this point should be on this curve okay and there are some uh, distance here so press D from this point to this axis is 0 0.32681 okay and from the same point along X axis it is 0 0.0764 and 6 okay so and then uh, the distance from this point to Y axis is 0.24 so between these two it is 0.24551 okay so now then we have a line here so go to line and draw this line the length of this particular line is It is 0 0.104360 okay and then we have an arc here so go to arc so this arc should start here and it should be like this okay 
the radius for this arc is 0 0.0625 So um, I'm going to draw a line here. It is not a tangent line. So you can just draw it like this. So this length is 0.27. OK, so now uh, we have to offset this curve so go to offset so select connected curves this time okay and the offset distance is point zero four one five okay now i can just click okay and we have an arc you know we have an arc here So let me close this profile and make this as construction line. Okay, so I'm going to create an arc here from this center point. Okay. Okay, so there is a distance here from this point, from this point to this edge, it is 0 0.125, 2.825. Okay, so now we need to extend this line and make it as a tangent okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this line until the next line and we are going to close this profile okay so now I can see here our sketch is fully constrained all all the dimensions are fully defined so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the sketch so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this sketch so go to extrude and select particular uh, sketch and it should be in the opposite direction and now um, the value we should give until extended and select this particular revolve so it should be you know extended until uh, the surface that we have created and then uh, we can remove this from the material okay and just click okay so now we don't need this sketch and this profile uh, sorry datum plane and we can just hide them so now uh, we are going to pattern this feature along this tire so in order to do that go to pattern feature and in this one uh, I'm going to select a circular pattern and the feature is this extrude and the specify the vector so along this vector and the point will be this point okay so now we need to give count and span so I need 15 number of counts here so this is 15 and the span will be 360 degree so now you can just click okay so now you can see here uh, the profile has been created and uh, we can just uh, so now what I will do is I'm going to mirror all these features so go to mirror feature now and select this pattern feature and hit control and select this extrude as well so both these features should be mirrored along this plane okay so now click okay So now this is how we can make this particular tire guys. So I'm going to save it and this is going to be my first video on suspension of assembly. So
please stay tuned so i'm going to upload the series of videos on this particular assembly and you're going to learn how we can you know make this suspension assembly hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial guys subscribe to my channel thank you guys